saw um, there was a guy saying that it's hard to find females to do this with. No, it's not. No, it's not. Bitches is with this shit. They want to do it. But they want to make sure that they're not getting cheated on and they don't feel stupid. So they got to find the right king to do this with. Somebody that knows he's a king. Somebody that is not going to take advantage of his queens. Somebody that's not going to use sex. to Like, they're not going to use this polyfly shit really to just get a, a motherfucking threesome. That's the type of nigga that a bitch will do this shit with. My favorite. This is my favorite. When they say that I'm insecure and that's why I picked polyfly. Let me explain something to you, bitch. There's nothing more secure than you sharing your motherfucking king with a bunch of other motherfucking bad bitches. I would love to see you do it. Nothing makes you check your ego quicker than seeing another bitch suck the shit out of your man's dick. I could say a lot of shit about monogamy and a monogamous couple, but I don't because I respect it. But just respect my point of view as well. Or, I'm follow, bitch. BBLU. I think the fact that I have accepted that I'm not going to go against the grain of what's in, the, in a man's DNA makes people feel uncomfortable. Because a lot of bitches rather claim that they don't know that their man is cheating, but they know damn well that their man is cheating. But they rather sit there and judge me. And I've been around all these celebrity wives that are popping or whatever the fuck. And then a lot of them bitches are cornballs. Because they like to make me feel uncomfortable when I walk into the room because I'm part of this polyfly family with Taz, NAB. And they try to make me feel like I'm less than. But your man be cheating on you, bitch. And you know it. Hey babe, so I'm back, and if you guys follow me on any sort of, uh, social media, you guys would have saw that I like, planned on doing, because it's Super Bowl Sunday, um, a question and answer, and I've gotten a lot of questions, and I plan on doing that video, especially because I already like recorded a bunch of clips from the Super Bowl game and stuff like that, but my mood has totally changed, I'm not like happy, I'm not like sad, but I'm just kind of like pissed off. Because I'm, like, going through my Instagram, and I totally forgot that I was subscribed to them. The only one that I actually care to be subscribed to at this point is Ashley Martell because she's no longer with them. Um, but I'm scrolling down, and one of Taz's Angel's posts came up, and it literally pissed me the fuck off so bad. Like, I'm not one of those people, like, I say it to you guys all the time, like, if you guys don't like something about me fucking go away don't fucking go out of your way to comment but I had a comment and I ended up getting to an argument with the stupid chick because well let's just start off I wouldn't have continued my stripper diaries if I saw that my following was below 18 and under like my following on YouTube is 21 or older and there's like literally like a 10% of a following that's like 17 and below and everything else is anyone like 31 and older everyone's older than fucking 18 that watches my videos, the majority of you guys are. Um, but if I had a younger following, no offense, I would probably stick to like my daily vlogs and those instead of sort of publicizing something that young people don't understand. Um, and I have nothing against the hustle or anything like that, it's just the fact that they're publicizing it and not publicizing the negatives too. They're only publicizing, like, all the money they have, the nice house they're living in, that they're all happy, and not the reality to it. And that's what pissed me off about it. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to title this, probably, like, my thoughts on fucking Taz's Angels. Um, but I don't know, this is, like, a very personal video, and I'm going to get into some stuff that, like, is very personal to me, and I've been putting it off, putting it on my channel for a long time. But I feel like eventually it's going to come out, um... However, I want to be able to control the situation when it comes out, so, but, 
like backstory when I decided to become a stripper I didn't decide to become a stripper I moved to Florida spontaneously just because I was just done being stuck in Massachusetts I was done with my situation like my mom has like my mom's a single parent has always supported me and it's just like we've had like a hard life like I've never had like all the things my friends have um and I literally just got over it and I was just like fuck it whatever happens happens and I literally I don't even know where I think it was Backpage. I went on Backpage and this guy, like it was this guy looking for girls um, and answered it. He said he would pay for my flight. He would pay for my like housing when I got there. And that's what I did. I told my mom, I was like, yep, found this guy on Backpage. And my mom had a heart attack. That's what I said. Like that fucking Chandelier song like probably triggers so many thoughts. Like my mom like literally just saw her daughter fly off on an airplane to some dude that she was planning on meeting up who had any sort of could have done anything with me at that point um and that was the same guy that abused me um luckily I didn't end up in a worse situation I didn't get locked up in a cage I had I wouldn't say I had a good experience but I had a better experience than I could have had I promote stripping because moving to Florida, I didn't initially plan on stripping. I just knew I was willing to do anything to get the, well, yeah, to get the life that I deserved. And that put me in a position where I literally gave all rights of my life to someone else. And that's what Taz Angels is promoting without realizing it, I don't even think. Because they're just saying, oh, yeah, like, what is it? It's polyfly. Hashtag polyfly, which is like their way of saying polygamy. And polygamy means like to have a relationship with more than one wife or husband. It does not mean have a relationship with a man that's selling your soul. That I don't understand at all, and I don't understand why they're promoting it as such. And no offense, they have a following of I was one of those girls that was following them at the time where I decided to go to Florida. And I made a decision that could have ended me up locked in a cage with literally guys sticking anything they want in any part of me. And I posted, like, I, I literally said, no hate, I used to love you guys until I realized what you guys were representing. Um, you guys need to put out more than just what you guys are saying, all the glitz and glam about the situation, because you're going to get a lot of girls put in situations where they can get hurt. Um, but... Moving to Florida, like, before Florida, I had no self-worth. I thought I was shit. I hate, like, I hated myself. I literally gave no fucks about myself. If I got hit by a car and died, that was the least of my worries. After Florida, and after everything I went through in Florida, I realized that I'm a human. I deserve basic rights. I have been through some shit, but that does not take away from the, like, woman I have become. Um... And it literally showed me that, like, that's why I still work on patience. Like, I'm still impatient as fuck. But it showed me that my impatience and me wanting this perfect life and this life that, like, all these girls are posting about almost took away my life completely. Like, I wouldn't be here to have anything. And... Like, they're posting, let me see, where's my fucking iPhone? What was the post? So, Polyfly is about royalty, wealth, and building with family. Returning to the roots, creating powerful modern-day empires. It's where polygamy meets opulence. Nothing better than putting an ambitious team of bad bitches together with the chosen one Taz. It's a beautiful thing to build and create with solid family based on love, respect, loyalty, and some freaky ass threesomes. Everyone's chasing the same ultimate goal which is uplifting the family unit and getting richer than a motherfucker. Um, and that's totally fine. I have nothing against like if you're just like a prostitute nothing against you that's that's something you do on your own but the fact that they're saying like hey 
And it's like a huge thing, like, hey, go find a man and find some friends so you guys can create this empire together. No, because girls are going to go find some stupid man that's literally just going to take advantage of them. Instead of, why don't you go find some friends and you guys can do some freaky shit together and then hire some dude to protect you. And then why don't you guys just go home with, like, the majority of your money besides what you paid him because you hired him. He can, like, you can hire and fire him. Like, he has no regards on your life. Like, why do you guys have, like, why are they promoting, like, to these young women to just go give their souls away to some dude? Like, I'm just so confused about it. It pisses me the fuck off because that's, like... I can just see how many innocent girls are going to get hurt from their bulls. And they're such huge public figures. And, like, I was, I did my research because I was like, I don't understand how they have, like, let me see. They have one million followers. That scares me. Because there's a lot of little girls mixed into that. They have one million followers and how... The fucking FBI doesn't know, which is not true, because I was reading this, and so first off, the reality to that is so, um, so false. Like, everything that happens, because I was like, I don't know, in this, like, freaking thing, they go on to say how, like, they can only take pictures when Taz basically says they can take pictures. Like, when you get there, you have to eat out cat. And have sex with Taz, which is, like, normal. Like, you have to, like, show you're committed. But it's, they, they don't put all that out there. They don't put out the fact that your phone gets taken away until they give it to you. They don't put out the fact that you're their property and they can do whatever they want with your life. Like, that's basically what you sign up for when you go into situations like that and they don't put out that part. Um... This uh, article goes on to say that like a lot of the information they got um, was from an ex Taz's Angels, and I swear to God, I feel like it's Ashley Martell because she has done beautiful things for herself. <coughs> <coughs> um, since leaving them, and I like literally when I first got on them, it wasn't even the fact that like I knew that they were about prostitution. I just knew that they were a group of beautiful women making money on their own, and I have nothing against that, well, making money with this stupid dude in the background, um, but, like, I think that would be so much more powerful of an image, especially at this point in day and age, like, why, oh, yeah, we have to find this one dude that we all have to fuck, and then that he can just sell our souls so we can pay him, so we can just sit back and sell our souls and make money off of it, like, he's doing nothing, and you guys are doing all the work, but he's the king, please tell me how that fucking makes any sense. And instead of, like, let's all just be fucking badass bitches together, make a living, and live our best lives. Like, I don't get it. So, no offense, if you are planning on doing any sort of Taz Angel situation, please do your research on what Taz Angels is and the real reality behind it. Because you're probably going to end up with some stupid pimp locked in a cage somewhere and he's going to sell you off to the, like the highest bidder, and that's not the lifestyle you want. Like, I, after when I got home from Florida, like, there's a picture on my post that, like, I don't know what happened, but that night it literally clicked. Like, I was like, I'm fucking done, even with the idea of, like, I don't know, I wouldn't say I wouldn't support a dude, because, like, I've been in a situation where I've needed help, but, like, a dude has to bring something to the table where I know he's a man. Like, if you don't have the best job in the world, that's totally fine, but you better be going to fucking work every day. Like, I don't get that. No dude's just gonna live off of me. I'm not gonna work every day for some dude. And that's what pimps are. Like, like, please tell me what a pimp does besides hit you. Like, <laughs> because no. Taz sits there and all those chicks bend over backwards and he's making a decent living off of doing nothing. And I promise you, this dude still has his soul, but none of those girls in that house do. Like, it's just ridiculous to me, and it pisses me off how big they've become with this stupid mindset. Like, like I understand why we don't have a woman president, because bitches like this are just running around. <laughs>
And, well, I don't even know, because that article can be totally false, and they could literally, he could be the nicest man, have never put harm to them, but the fact that the reality is, 9 out of 10 pimps aren't like that. Like, you are putting a lot of girls in danger by saying, hey, go find a pimp, you're going to live your best life. Like, no, that's not the reality to it. And I just had to put this video out there because I'm, like, sitting here so pissed that this, like, polyfly, what the fuck, you sound stupid. Like, no. Like, go get a job and just make your own money. Like, you don't have to split it with anyone. You can go home by yourself. Like, you don't have to worry about that. Like, I just, I'm so confused at why. That's a thing. I just, I'm so confused at our generation. And it, I don't even, they're a little older than me. But I'm just like, I don't know. You guys put your opinion down because I'm just so fucking, I'm pissed off about it. I just don't, like, I feel like so many young girls are going to be put in the same situation I was and not be as lucky as I was. Like, I end up being able to fly home to my mom and, like, climb into this fucking bed and feel safe again. Like, I might have PTSD, I might be all types of fucked up from that shit, but I was able to come home from it. There's so many girls that get put in situations like that and sold off to the next bidder and, like, never seen again. Like, or literally get drug habits, literally just lose their mind from what they've been through because of it. And they're saying that, like, oh yeah, go do this, it's gonna be amazing. No, that's not the fucking reality to it, ever, in any sort of way, unless you're a fucking... Unless you're Jesus himself, you're not going to walk into a pimp situation and love your life. Like, it's not worth it. Stripping is a better alternative. That's like my ultimate thing I can come back to. That stripping literally is a better alternative. Because one, you don't need the safety. Well, you don't need that, like worry about the safety pet because all clubs have bouncers you just have to find a club that the bouncers actually care and the club's not just there to make money um but the safety part's already there um there's no sex isn't required in stripping it's not those are two different worlds um that's prostitution if you find that your club has a lot of that going on switch clubs find a club that doesn't um and stay away from guys looking to sell you because you're so much more than any sort of dollar amount. Frankly, there's no dollar amount worth your your morals or anything like that. Because at the end of it, yeah, there's really not. And that's no offense. That's what's funny. Like, literally, we have girls. Like, we have, like, pictures in the back room. I can't show them because they're of other girls. Um of when, like, Zach's first opened, and you guys, like, even, like, if, I feel like the bigger clubs are a lot better, um, like, in Las Vegas and, like, bigger areas like that, but, like, in smaller towns where we are, they used to be just as packed and just as, like, flu like fluent with money as fucking, um, those bigger clubs were, but it's just the fact that guys can come into some of, like, grosser clubs and get... Uh, $20 creepy dance from this thought or uh, non-touching stay away from me <laughs> innocent dance from this chick that's not about that life um, they're gonna choose the $20 dance from the thought over that where they barely get anything but a look like the game has come down because they get so much more for so much less now and that's what's fucking up the game for strippers so If you're on my videos, definitely keep that in mind, like, prostitution, I don't know, maybe easier, I don't know how, maybe easier because you make more money, but like, on the, like, mind, soul, body, everything, it's a lot harder, I would just choose stripping, stay away from, I literally unfollow them, the only one I follow from, um, Fucking Taz Angels is Ashley Martell because she's no longer in association with them. Um, but if you follow anyone sort of like Taz Angels, just be aware of what they actually stand for. And that's literally just a pimp situation. I don't care what sort of like elegance they put to it. But that is some man controlling your life and what you do. And I just want everyone to remember that that's not what you want. You're literally putting your life in someone else's hands. 
and you can end up in any situation with that like you like I don't know because <laughs> no one would have known what I went through in Florida because you can even like I posted pictures during that time it was like you don't know what people are going through just by what they post on the internet so don't go off of some chick's Instagram saying she's living this best life showing you all the money she's making with Sorry if I can't break it off, but basically that's not the reality to it. She could be like locked in a cage, he's telling her to post those pictures, and she's just a bait to get another girl there. Like, and that's basically what the situation is. Kat and like some of the main girls are probably one of the first girls that Taz started out with. Some are like his ride or dies that were just like already about that life when he started. And they started posting these pictures once they got big. And basically baited all these other girls into the situation. And we don't know the girls that didn't last. Like, they probably just leave. And you never hear from them again. And you don't know their stories. And that's probably one of these girls about these articles. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know the reality. So don't take anyone's Instagram story and run. Run willy with it. Because you're going to end up in some serious situations. Just be safe, and yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely do the question and answer video someday later this week. Um, I'm sorry it didn't happen tonight. This Like, I really just had to put this out there just to combat. Like, maybe my, like, 1,400 subscribers would combat their 1 million because someone needs to, like, tell them that they're fucking crazy and they need to not put that out there to the world. Like, no. No, it's, that should be a secret. Definitely should be a secret. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.